Hi there, Lyndall Pynchon from Canine Vitality and welcome back to my channel, Happy Healthy Dogs. Thanks for being here, guys. Now, you know, two years ago, if anyone had told me what we were collectively about to go through in regards to the pandemic, then I probably wouldn't have really believed them. But, you know, two years on, it has been a really challenging time for all of us. And really, no matter where you live in the world, you've most likely had at least some time in lockdown. Now, living here in Brisbane, Australia, we have truly been spared probably the worst of it, but have still had a few short lockdowns. But for those of you who have experienced or are still experiencing longer term lockdowns, I can really only imagine how difficult this must be for all of you. Now, you know, recently I moved into a unit um, that's close to the water and I'm really loving my new space very much with one exception. Now, one of my neighbours who lives on a ground floor unit has a small courtyard and within this small courtyard, she keeps her dog. It's a Staffy. Now, this poor old Staffy who looks uh, like he's probably suffering from a bit of arthritis um, you know, he's very, very stressed dog due to the fact that he's kept in this really small yard on his own all day with very little interaction from the owner or, or anyone else. Now, I've made it my mission to try and help this dog in whatever way I can. But, you know, it really hit me in a way that I wasn't expecting. I, you know, I hear of situations like this in my work quite often. But having to watch this poor dog cry nearly all day for his owner made me think about the lockdowns that we've all been going through in the recent times and how so many animals are in lockdown situations for their whole lives. You know, as humans, we value our freedom and the ability to make our own choices. And when those freedoms and choices are taken away from us, we understandably become quite frustrated and angry, along with a whole gamut of many other emotions. And while I know that there are many people who have been in lockdown for many months over the last two years, I want you to just spare a little thought for the moment for all of those dogs and other animals that will spend all of their lives in some type of lockdown whether that be in a cage being on the, being chained in a backyard not being able to move around freely being restricted not being able to feel the earth under their feet you know whatever the situation there are so many animals that are not allowed the freedoms that they deserve you know i know that as dog owners you love your dog but please think about how they are living their lives are they able to have freedoms and choices within their current living situation? Are their lives enriched by being able to get out and experience the world in different ways and in different situations? Are they left alone for very long periods of time on their own with little interaction from owners or any other dogs that might be around? You know, there are so many ways that we can improve the lives of our pets by being mindful of the fact that they are sentient beings that deserve respect, love, and the ability to express themselves as the animals that they are. You know, so next time, guys, you stress about being in a lockdown, you know, I really do feel for very for people who are in lockdown situations. But also, please remember all of the many animals that today don't have the ability to get out of the negative lockdown situations that they might find themselves living in. You know, thank you for being here today, guys, and just listening to my thoughts. I just felt moved to put this out there today. I hope that you're doing okay wherever you are. And please remember that all animals deserve respect, love, and the freedom to be themselves. If you enjoyed today's little short video, guys, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel for more um, upcoming content. So have a good day, guys. I will talk to you very soon in my next video. Bye for now.